Okay, folks, so here's the meatball again, updated on the 17th. There's your date and time, and there's your meatball. And I think I can even show you a more closer to Mercury. And basically, we hope that we got separation, and we hope that that thing is not as big around as it looks to be big. Because let's go look where Mercury's and Venus is at compared to Earth right now. Hopefully, we just got a hell of a lot of distance. I figure we're all safe because we have such massive distances, even though that's a massive object, okay? But that is going to be doing one thing or other. Uh, it's between, you know, it's over here. Somewhere over here off of A is where that object's at. It's somewhere here, okay? Or in it, either that or it's hopefully just somewhere huge and close here, okay? Uh, because you got Mercury and Venus here. Now remember where that camera shoots from. That camera's shooting from this over here, and way higher than Earth, too, I believe, that uh, its position is in its orbit, okay? So Earth is pretty much almost directly out behind Mercury, okay? So somewhere between here and here to the Sun, somewhere here by Mercury is that huge object right there, okay? Let me show you how small, uh, well... We've seen Jupiter look very tiny to the sun before, so uh, it's a huge object. And basically, no matter what, you can pretty much see from looking at this shot from H12A that the idea that this darkness that you see here out beyond Earth way far away, which just makes us feel better because you can see all these objects. So the idea that more than likely that darkness that you see, since it doesn't get lit up by the supergiants, is more than likely that big meatball out there on our backside, on our back door. Okay? Out either directly in this whole view, in behind all these stars, or directly out this back door, our back door, dark side of Earth, because as you see the sun bright on Earth, and we think that that's Mars right there, but Mars is somewhere there. So we hope that that object is way the heck back here in the darkness, okay? So, so watch the positioning here, and then we're going to end up showing you Mercury closer at the end of the day because this shot will be the more freshest shot. 2,329 minutes. Basically, 2,329 hours, okay? So let's go to that shot, and then as you do see that it, because I did see this earlier, that's why I wanted to make the video, is the idea that you see it closer to Mercury, Okay, then you see more of the meatball. Okay. So, there's your shot and time there. And then we can go ahead and go to this one. Seventy degree weather in the Midwest, folks, on the plains. So, it's warm everywhere. So, as the suns and the supergiants and the sun over here flare away as you see the CMEs to the right we get the big old meatball here at our back door lit up as you can see this side of Venus and this side of Mercury face the sun so you know that the idea that this is in the darkness on our back door Earth because somewhere Earth is as you see in the shot we're way back here somewhere in the darkness because whether high or low, you see our direction where Earth is behind Mercury right now, okay? So let's go back to the shots. Uh, so basically, things blooming way early. Uh, West Coast weather, Midwest. Uh, Midwest weather. Now, there's areas in California so that they're used to this cooler weather this time of year anyway. It's not totally out of the window. It's just the warm that we're getting in the eastern part in the central plains so record heat not bad but just record for it i don't think anybody's really upset about the warm weather it's just the idea that tornadoes you got to be careful tornadoes warm to cold wet air so this is a different shot a little bit later a little bit earlier i mean than the uh, latest shot because i gave you the bottom shot there to show you how much movement we get during the day. And then we go here. So you get the movement, I think, will show us going away because when we get farther up. Now, you need to be real calm because what I'm going to say is the idea that from what I can tell, if 
from you look at the map and so from what we've seen this object here this here this star cluster which these are huge this is massive distances into space massive object there mercury and venus are pretty much singularly about the size of earth okay so somewhere we may be somewhere between here in the meatball between here and mercury somewhere somewhere in this area somewhere here okay because no matter what the map will show us that but you got to remember this is hell about our back door hello far out our back door millions of miles because no matter what this is your map and there's your time and no matter what that's out here somewhere okay but there's a hell of a long distance between here and here one whole au so there's plenty of room for it so it's nice to see us pretty much in line with Mercury and then hopefully that it's way out here because it's missing Mercury so it should be missing us okay because no matter what we've seen this before in the uh, blue shots all right and like I show you this shot here to make you you know relax this is how much room that we probably have okay because more than likely that might be that cluster that we keep seeing right there so we have the distance it takes two years to get to Mars okay so and like I say you roll this up and basically more than likely out the back door because the sun's over here getting blocked and as you see that's the direction of the sunlight because it hits earth so more than likely the meatball is probably out the back door somewhere if this matches with that cluster could be way back here behind here okay and then we look at the map that's shooting from a so remember these are massive distances and that is a massive object so but the idea that it has massive room out here between us and mercury because you remember it's still pretty darn far away from clear and mercury and we're way the hell away from mercury so but no matter what the meatball is there you can't miss it and it's awesome awesome sight and just showing you the most recent I got and I don't not even taking time to see my last video I didn't pay attention for the 17 and all but it's just impressive as hell and like I say this is the most updated photo of it right there so and as you see it was closer to mercury then So, so the thing is, no matter what, you know where we're at, okay? Because there's your date and your time, and there's Earth, okay? So positioning-wise, that A camera is taking that shot and seeing the sun hit Venus and Mercury. So we are pretty much somewhere. There's somewhere. We're somewhere back in here. Somewhere back in here, way out. Between the meatball and Mercury, we pretty much suspect we are. Okay, We pretty much suspect that we are somewhere between here, the meatball, and Mercury. And that's the Mercury, I mean, and that meatball is out our back door. So we should be some speck between here, because since we're so far back behind Mercury, and then the meatball back there, a massive distances in space, folks, massive. And we are 0 0.6228 IU, okay? So a little bit more than half the distance that we are from the sun away from Mercury, all right? Earth is 57.89 million miles, okay? Earth is away from Mercury, okay? So relax, folks. We've got a lot of room between Mercury and Earth there, in between the meatball and us. So now you know what makes that huge shadow out there. Okay, you see that huge shadow? That's that meatball that makes that huge shadow. Okay, there's a most recent up there from the sun. Boom, boom. And the sun was getting a lot of action for something close by it today. I'll show you the footage on that later. This is just the recent beacon shots. Basically today it's con very continuous on the 19th. 
very continuous, like it's grinding up on something or something or something's hitting it. And there, if you go went, went to uh, Solar Images too, I'll go to Solar Images here in a second after this goes through the day. 8th hour, 9th hour, 12th, 13th, 14th. Almost like something's grinding on the sun or something. As you can see, the CME just continues and continues. You see that? Looks like a grinder, doesn't it? Grind, 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 grind. Same area for a long time. So, and you can freeze and see whatever you see to the right, which I keep on seeing. But that's part of it any of the M50s or something like that. So, there's your time again through the day. Okay, let's go to the solar images. And no matter what, that's what was on this shot right here. Okay. So there's stuff up there. Layers, layers, layers. Okay. So, Because you can see that this is not part of the sun. Okay? And that's not part of the sun. Okay? So there's stuff up there. And remember, size of this stuff's out there. More later. We're real tiny. We're there. We're smaller. 